Hughes Stadium in Fort Collins, Colorado. A lot of excitement in the air for this college football showdown. We have relatively clear skies and some sun for today's game between the Colorado State Rams and the UAB Blazers. Brad Nessler here, and I'm joined today with the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. UAB is lucky to have a lot of options on offense, but none more important than a young man playing running back. He has the ability to be a game changer at any moment, and it's hard to keep him bottled up for long. If this guy has a good game today, then his team will more than likely be successful. All right, guys, thanks. Let's send it down now to the coin toss so we can just about get this thing going. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Kicks off, and here goes four quarters of action. Oh, what a hit. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. One man backfield. They'll throw on first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 45. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. They line up in an eye. And he's hit as he throws. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 12-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Yep. you got to stay on your toes every play. Otherwise, you allow plays like that. They've got a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they make the most of it. Complete, and he's brought down. Whoa! The coach ain't going to like that completion. Not at all. That's the second catch for this receiver on this drive alone. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go his way again. Here's the halfback. Touchdown, Colorado State. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. Yeah, the back needs to give credit to that offensive line for that one. They created the space for him to run through. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, they get the ball for the first time. Already down seven. I don't think these guys are scoreboard watching yet, Brad. They just need to stick to their game plan and execute like they did all week in practice. Single back set, three wide receivers. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action froze the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. On the handoff, watch out. What a collision. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The ball carrier almost snuck by there, but this junior linebacker made a good stop. Yeah, these linebackers don't miss too many tackles. Gives it to the back. He fights forward to about the 36. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Yep, not too much on that play. The senior linebacker was right there waiting for the ball carrier. They line up in the shotgun. Another run. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. 
There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 32. Good job here by the defense to get off the field and get the ball back into the hands of their own offense. They'll take over at the 32-yard line. It's first and 10. Single set backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. About six yards on the play. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. The backfield's in an offset eye formation. Here's the run. Got a hole. Tackle made at about the 45. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Fires incomplete to the fullback. I think the quarterback needs to put a little bit more arc on the ball. You agree, Coach? Absolutely, Kirk. He needs to put it in a spot where the receiver can run under it. They line up in a double tight set. Back to pass. Caught enough for the first down. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. He's tackled at the 17. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. Simple pitch and catch. The receiver ran a slant pattern, and the quarterback found him for a really good game. We played one. Our score here in Fort Collins. The Colorado State Rams, 7, UAB, nothing. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Tackle at the 10. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this drive. Colorado State up seven points. Again, he'll get the call. Boy, this kid knows how to run with a football, doesn't he? I think everybody knew it. In fact, the defensive coordinator told me last night he didn't want this guy to beat him. Well, it's going to take more than X's and O's, Kirk, to stop this guy. they got to tackle him. Converts the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Colorado State is lining up to kick this one off. Decent kick. He's tackled at the 36. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. They'll start at the 36-yard line. Ace backfield. They go to the ground game. Up the middle for a nice game. Six-yard pickup. Gain of six on the play. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Down he goes, around the 49-yard line. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. And this is not good news. This is a very serious injury. The offense calls a timeout. It's second down and six to go. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy he's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Wants to throw, but he's not going to have time. They got him. There's nothing stopping the defense from getting the sack there, Coach. It's tough for a quarterback to throw the football when he has that kind of rush coming at him.
So the sack makes this a second and long. Ace backfield. Straight ahead on the give. There's nowhere to run, though. They'll get two on that one. And the defense had great pressure there. They blitzed the middle linebacker, and there were no holes for the halfback to run through. Going with the shotgun here. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. High formation here. He's got his man across the middle. The offense calls a timeout. Backfields in an offset eye formation. First down, look at the throw. He's tackled at the 46. The offense calls a timeout. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he pulls it down. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Well, the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing. And right there, it paid off. And he's taken down around the 16-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. They're crowding the line. Strike to his receiver, no good. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. They put everyone up on the line. The defense is changing their play. And it's knocked down. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. So it's fourth down. This one's from 19, just like kicking an extra point. And he got it. That score leads us to our drive summary. Colorado State to kick this one off. He sends it off from the five-yard line. Tackle at the 30. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. From their own 30-yard line, first down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He drops back. Once it all, going deep. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, the Rams, 17, the Blazers, nothing. Colorado State is lining up to get this second half started. He kicks it off. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Guys, what should we be expecting here in the second half? Let's see if these guys can reverse their fortunes and start this half off right. Yeah, Kirk, this is not the best way to start a half, but hey, at least they got the football. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. At the 40. And they tackle him at the 31-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. 
They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Play action. Looking for his man, incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick out to his receiver. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. If the defense wants to stop those quick throws, then they should really put somebody up on the line and bump these receivers to throw them off their routes. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 12 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Hand off, and he's met immediately. That'll be a gain of three yards. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat, and there wasn't much room for the running back to work with. Single set backfield. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The safety read the run all the way there, Coach. Yep, great job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball by this senior. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. formation here looks middle got his back nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game they line up in an eye he passes it oh he drops it Third down and two. Ball on their own 41. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Pass complete, but out of bounds. It's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Single back set, three wide receivers. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. The defensive coordinator has been saving that one. And you know what? It didn't work out like he had hoped. He blitzed both outside linebackers, and the quarterback wasn't phased at all. Quarterback, good job of keeping your eyes downfield and moving the chains. They'll make the sack. The blitz worked in their favor, fellas. Yeah, you're right. They were able to get good pressure on the quarterback and free up a defense alignment for the sack. That was a great call by the defense, bringing the pressure and leaving the quarterback with very few options. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Gets it. He's in space. Oh, so close to breaking it. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. It's a defensive battle here as we played three quarters. Our score is Colorado State 17, UAB 3. 
keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. They tried to run the ball for the first down and they didn't get it. No, sir. You saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into them. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he's tackled the 37 yard line. And a big run there on fourth down. Brad, this is what impresses me about this team. It's fourth down and you know what's coming. We're running right at you. Try and stop us. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Five DBs on the field. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. They come out with three wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made at the 14. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. And that sets them up with a first and goal. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. Tackle at the one. The halfback picks up a yard. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. New running back now into the backfield. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Zero yards on that play. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. They're crowding the line. They go with the back, and he's in for the touchdown. That is exactly what they needed, guys. Yeah, that brings them within a touchdown. We'll see if they go with the onside kick or if they decide to kick it deep and play defense. And the offense did their job of getting into the end zone. Now they just need one more shot with the football. And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Here it goes. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. The defense calls a timeout. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Here's the halfback. Nice run there. The defense calls a timeout. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. They come out in a nickel. Pitch out. There he goes! Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. He busted it open and kept the drive alive. The thing I like about this kid is he's got that explosion. He goes downfield and he's gone. Colorado State hoping to go up two touchdowns here. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Loose football. The defense calls a timeout. It's second down. Let's see if they can put it in from six yards out. Single set backfield. Again with a carry. Guys, what a big time score right there. Let me tell you why that was so important. That puts him up by two scores with not much time left at all. And all they have to do now is not give up any big plays, and they'll be able to get out of here with the W. He makes the PAT. Here's our drive summary.
looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it off. Taken from the 10. He got hit hard. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, if you believe in miracles, then this game is not over yet. But I'll be honest with you. We've already sent Coach down to warm up the bus. Wait, wait, what are you doing back here? Hey, I do believe in miracles. I'm not going anywhere. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 30. This defense is in the dime. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. And they'll go with a no huddle. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Makes the catch and look out. Knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Now, the passing game is a lot easier for a quarterback when two corners aren't in coverage. I respect the gutsy call on the defensive side to blitz both corners, but it left him too vulnerable against the pass. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires that quickly, incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. They'll work from the shotgun. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Six DBs on the field for the defense. Looking for his man, incomplete. That sailed over the receiver's head. Yeah, this receiver is fast, but not that fast. They'll work from the shotgun. Catches it. He's tackled right around to 40. Kurt. I've been told cats have nine lives. How many lives do you think these guys got? I don't know the answer to that question, but I do know that in a do-or-die situation, everything seems to go right for these guys. No question, my friend. That's twice on this drive that they've converted on fourth down. Wants to throw outside. This one will fall incomplete. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Quick out to his receiver. They brought the middle linebacker on a blitz, and the quarterback got the ball out of his hands in time for a first down. The defense calls an audible. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's harder than most people think to complete short passes like that. I mean, you've got a lot of defenders running around in a small amount of space, watching the quarterback's eyes and looking for a quick pick. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Colorado State 24, UAB 10.